I am going to start by making the cuts. So I am going to take my nose and scar wax and apply them on my face where they should be. So I'm just using a tiny little spatula and smoothing it out. And you want to make sure that the edges are really smooth so that it doesn't look like it's um, stuck to your face. And also you kind of want to make the center a little bit thicker than the edges. Which should happen naturally when you're smoothing it out. the cut on her neck so I'm just doing the same thing applying the nose and scar wax and trying to smooth out the edges this stuff is pretty hard to work with so if you have some latex go ahead and use that it should be a lot easier so I am using a makeup remover wipe to uh, clean up the edges this kind of dissolves the nose and scar wax and makes it smoother you can use some eye makeup remover on a cotton pad that works just as well, if not even better. So next I am going to take some loose powder and just pat it onto the wax so that it doesn't stick as much. And I can go over it with makeup in a second. So I'm going to take some white face paint and just apply this on my face. And you don't want to make this a thick layer because you don't actually want to have a white skin. Just a little bit um, paler looking. <laughs> Don't forget to blend it down onto your neck and your ears so that all visible parts of your skin are covered. And if you really want to go all the way, you need to paint your hands and arms as well. Now don't worry about covering the scars too much because we're going to go over that later. And now I'm going in with a grayish brownish eyeshadow and I'm just contouring the face to kind of look like the characters. So you can look at a picture for reference. And just blend away. And I'm also going to apply some dark purple and gray and dark brown eyeshadow around the eyes to give it that hollow look. Kind of unhealthy. <laughs> That's what we're going for. Now I'm going to make some lines on the face to make me look a little bit older. gray eyeshadow and I'm just going to pat that onto my lips making sure to focus more on the center than the outer parts and next I'm going to fill in my eyebrows to kind of look like hers a little bit higher and pointier than my own so just drawing them in like that and now comes the fun part I am going in with a red eyeshadow and applying this around the um, cuts on my face to make it look kind of irritated. Now I'm not sure if it would actually look like this, 
um, in her situation. I haven't really ever seen a person in that situation, so I'm just gonna have a wild guess here. So next I am going to scrape out a little bit of that nose and scar wax from the middle to make room for the blood that's going to come in. This is what's going to make it look like an actual cut. A fresh one, that is. But again, I don't know what it would look like in her situation. So I'm going in with my stage blood, but you can use whatever you want. Lip gloss, ketchup, um, starch with red food coloring. Just anything that can pass for blood. And now the last thing is some white hair dye spray that I'm just going to apply on the visible parts of my hair keeping in mind that I'm going to apply a scarf over my head later. 